Hi, friends of golfers. Eric Silberg with my wife, Julie, here. We're going to do a quick little lesson. Julie's been playing golf for probably how long? Uh, really like two years. Two years. And how many round, total rounds do you keep playing? How many 18 holes do you keep playing? Twenty. Yeah, that's said it'd be high. Yeah. So, okay, let's say it's 15 to 20, we have 15. And so beyond that, out of practice, beyond those, there's been maybe <laughs> a few hours on top of that. That That's not true because you did practice a little bit more. When I was doing the speed training. We, yeah, she did speed training, which was good for her too. So tell us real quick what you feel like you need help on tonight that you have me out here doing this. <laughs> uh, so with my irons, I am still not consistently making an impact. Okay, what's that mean? Hit, I hit it behind the ball. Okay, a lot? Okay, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's watch a couple and um, kind of see if we can see what's going on. Now, we've talked about low points, so Julie is aware of what that means. And how we're trying to move it up towards it. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of go through it. We'll talk a little bit. So let's, you're going to hit the ball. Also, so we get some metrics here. Now look at this Let's let's talk about your tendencies in the past has been maybe to be a little bit too far back. And the other thing I've talked to you a little bit about is we sometimes the swing it goes down like this. So the left shoulder goes up right away. So if the ball's right here and I'm swinging and my left shoulder comes up right away, look how it's going to tilt my shoulder back here. And then we want to come down back here. That's that's not bad for a driver because it's actually going to help us hit up on it. Not good for an iron. So one of my favorite drills for this, it's just, it's really simple is doing a practice way and trying to get in front. And so a lot of what happens to people is they're trying to square the club face by doing a motion like this. And what it would be like is this, if I'm playing baseball, I'd swing and I'd go like that. So you see, I just throw my hands in it like this first. If I was playing baseball, I wanted to hit it hard. I'd be like that. See so my body can I wouldn't throw these hands but really late. And look how I'd end up with these good conditions. My hand like this and here, and then I can hit down in front of it nicely. Think of baseball and go, go up your top real quick, swing and stop. Uh, come down slowly. We pull these angles now. Try to come down there. See the see how easy it is to get way up there. If you have, if it's hard to get down, it means we've thrown these angles off earlier. First move is where you get onto our left side, shoulder down. Now swing. I bet you did it. Try it again. And this is another thing I see here. There now, so you hit it. Perfect. And I think it's, that was good. She was way in front. So that's why she caught it on the top of it. So she did a good job of getting way ahead, which is what, what we did. We tried to um, exaggerate. Let's try it again. Set up here. And I want you to sweep up to the top. So I, I like you to sit across from the ball. So you have a good point. Swing to the top. I want you to do it on your own. Bump forward with that shoulder down. Now go. Okay. Really hold that. Oh, she got to go slow. Go slow. But hold that angle so you can just hit up here. As slow as you'd have to go to make sure you hit it. Bump. Now go slow. Okay. Good. And swing up and stop. Good. Bump forward. Good. Now hold this. Then he goes. Keep turning. Rotating. Then not, look how easy it is to get there. You should hold that. So you're open now. Let's try to get your home slow. Hope. Go. Good. Excellent. Okay. All right. A little better. Still a little chunky, but so it's it's the issue is we're getting this too much of this release like this, which is coming down here, which it makes it impossible. So I don't think it's a great idea to think of holding angles because this club's just going to want to go to what we do up here. It's a lot easier, I think, in transition if we just tell ourselves that our, our focal point is up here that we're trying to come down at, that we're going to have a, probably a little easier time holding those angles because it's, it's the only way to get there. So even feel like you're a little bit longer, you can go slow. I want you just to land it up here. I'll wait yeah, see? So, hit the ball that hard. Okay, okay, all right. So, she got obviously way for again. So, let's try one. Let me actually do this for a different time. We're going to put this here. This is going to be back here. It's a little, uh, a little reminder that we got to come in this way. We're going to put it super close. This is probably this far behind, but it's a visualization for her. Good. <laughs> Then the front, just close to the front. You know, wise There you go. Guys, you don't have to, girls, you don't have to put this real close to it. This is enough of a visual reminder. 
Come down. Bump, come down. Well, this. And that release. So feel this right hand. We have this club. I want you to set up in posture. Take your right hand like this. Right hand only. And then sweep to the top like you're a waiter. See why you got a wrist. Now I want you to come back to the ball. Okay. So look where our first move is. The shoulder went up too. I want you to think of the shoulder coming down to like smother your, your heat over the ball. But covering the ball. So this is going to teach you a little bit of what to do with this. How we want this right. The, this wrist we're extension even where I did it. And I'll come down to impact and stop. Good. Yeah, this is where we want to be. Now, if somebody who's topping it and everything, they get the wrist going like this. This way, that's what she's having trouble doing. Throwing it at the club like that to square the club face. Remember, we close the club face by going like this, twisting the shaft. We don't want to do it this way. Does it work? Yes, but it's inconsistent. Does that feel like a hindrance to this thing here? Or does it scare you? Okay, I like to ask if it scares people because sometimes stuff like this is scare. And look at that, folks. <laughs> there we go. Change. Good job. So she did a really good job with it. So that, that's a couple different options. This is a really good one. You can use a towel um, also behind it if you're at the range. Just grab your towel off your bag or whatever you have. I like that drill to practice with the right wrist don't dunk like that so we're not going like this but remember ultimately there's a, a problem and it's it, it can be the rest you can say but it's really this club face because what we're trying to do from the very top is come down like this and close it with some manner like that instead of closing it by getting it up here and where we rotate the shaft on the way down so see how it's in a better position now so where i can just turn through the ball instead of having it way to open right here and then it's like this, then it's this big toro. Okay, so we wanna work on getting the shaft turning on the way down. Let's try one more practice. Our muscles don't remember where to go. We have to train them by telling our mind this is where we wanna be. And that's what she's doing in these slow motion moves. Ball, good, slow to the ball, right in front, perfect, awesome. Okay, are you starting to feel a little different now? Can you feel anything different in your body yet? Like what is happening yet? different from the beginning? It's okay if you don't. It takes a while. That's okay. It, you know, it looks, it, that's, don't give up on that stuff. It takes a while to form those new feelings. You're eventually going to get it if you keep noticing somebody. You'll eventually get a feeling that you'll grab onto. It takes a while though at the beginning. Let's think about we're going to dive and we're going to hold that wrist angle. Trail on your trail wrist. Go up, go up and sweep to up. Okay, come down slow. Good, good, good. Release up here. Boom, you got it. So one of the things too is the big, one of the biggest thing golfers have, and Julie doesn't do it. Julie Tartis, one thing we worked on at the beginning, she was good at her rotating. She rotates really well. That's not her problem. A lot of it's in the shoulder coming up, the face, and then the release of the club we talked about. But she's she has a really good pivot. But most people, you'll find that are having this tr trouble, have terrible pivots. Um, Julie does a really good job of it. She did work on that at the beginning. That one key that I uh, got to see her do because that can change your golfing for her. And it does for her. Because she doesn't practice often, doesn't play often. And when she gets a chance to, she can go out and play well. Okay, good. Let's try regular swing out and then let's hit. Good. Okay, now let's step up to the ball and go. Another good contact. Okay, we probably didn't do the same compression, but you can tell it's not fat, right? <laughs> so. Her low point obviously moved up. I mean, you saw the first one, folks. It's probably two, three inches behind. Now she's getting too far forward sometimes. So at least she's, you know, she's getting everything going forward. And the big key in golf is, like, I want to teach people is this knowing why you're doing something wrong. You can't fix it if you have no idea or you're just guessing. And that's why I see most people just guessing, oh, I'm not doing this because of, I, don't, I hear all kinds of wild things. When you have to look two to three to four stages before where the problem is. The problem's not here. Nobody just plans on swing their swing makes this late adjustment to do something like this everything happens way before just doing the speed of the swing and force which we can't see always precedes motion so it makes it difficult to make this think this is happening here not knowing it's got to be somewhere up here at the end. julie anything to say I, I had a good time I think, you did, I think you did good with it right i mean it's been less than 10 minutes yeah getting better so. yep well, i think you know it's fresh Thanks for watching, folks. Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf Academy, and my wife, Julie Schulberg. Bye.